When you turn on the crock pot, is there supposed to be like a light or something? Okay. Yeah. Hey guys. Welcome. Oh. Welcome back to my cooking. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jordan. If you have any questions or requests, just go ahead and comment down below. I'd like to ask you guys a favor. Just make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Meow. 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 Don't. So I've been really into this poll thing lately on Instagram. It was between grocery haul or meal prepping and the majority did want a meal prep. So I will still do a grocery haul at some point. I just thought I would start with this first. I got a spaghetti squash, which I've eaten before, but I've never made it myself. I've never bought my own. I've never cut it open. I've never done any of this myself. So, All right, so this is the chicken that I'm using today. It's from Schwann's, right? And the crock pot has already started to heat up. I do have it on high and I am going to load it up. This is the blackened Cajun. And I put sea salt on everything because I believe it makes it taste better. Like, I don't know how. Started with the chicken just because when it's frozen in the crock pot, it does take like three to four hours. So I just put that in there with some oil so it doesn't stick and seasoning. And that is what it looks like. A couple bags of these from Schwann's and they're just already cut up for me. Just put that all over it. Can never have too much. While those sweet potatoes are still going, I'm gonna start cutting up the cauliflower and the carrots, and I'll be putting those in the oven, which I should probably preheat right about now. So the sweet potatoes are looking good. So those are basically done. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out of the pan. I know they look burnt, but they're not. They're just covered in cinnamon. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to know is how a person has this many lids. I'm just not sure how a person has this many lids and only this many containers. Where do they go? Where do the containers go? I hate bugs so much. Just cut up my carrots and my cauliflower. I'm gonna pour in these Brussels sprouts that are also from Schwann's. And then I'm gonna put in some oil, a little bit of honey, and some sea salt, and I think I said maybe some other seasoning, I haven't decided yet. Then I'm gonna lay them out on, on the tray and put them in the oven for like 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm a very easily distracted type of person and I try to do like a lot of things at once and sometimes it works really well and sometimes it doesn't. And what I have discovered is that because this is the first time I've ever filmed a meal prepping video, I didn't wasn't aware that of like how much more multitasking you have to do. Cause like not only are you already multitasking because you're cooking like multiple things at once in different places, taking different amounts of time and meaning your focus at different time, whatever. But then like I also am like, oh wait my camera, oh wait this, oh. This is just proving to be slightly more difficult than I anticipated. Okay, so normally I don't put that many vegetables on the tray. It's not quite enough to make two trays, so I'm just gonna chance it and see what happens. They might just not be as like roasted. The chicken is looking fabulous. Here's the chicken so far. Oop, foggy. Oh. I'll show you the rice. So this is like my lazy rice that I use. Um, the VT osmati rice because it's just like super simple to use all i really have today to show you guys is lazy rice so i like that these little packets that are like different flavors and stuff are 
really not that bad of macros and extremely simple slash lazy also. Oh, damn. Look at those. Mmm. Mmm. What's next? Rice and spaghetti squash. I've, I've, I feel committed to the spaghetti squash, so I just feel like I just need to do it. And if it's a disaster, then I guess it'll just be a disaster. But what I do know is I got an Amazon package. I'm really excited about this one because I got some... Oh. Fine. Then in this bag that I'm excited about, and I'll probably wear it tomorrow, so... It'll be up on the Instagram most likely. And then I got something in this that you guys will see here on the tube. It's probably going to be a few weeks because I need to accumulate more of said item. Three quarters of a cup. It is three grams of fat, 39 carbs, and five protein. So if it's three quarters of a cup and that's 39 grams, probably only have like half a cup in each of my meals because I don't want to waste all my carbs on rice. Spaghetti squash. Spug. Spag. Sp spaghetti. Oh. Preheat your oven to 375. Now, please be careful friends, when you cut open your squash, it has a very tough skin. Oh yeah, I can tell. It feels plastic. It feels like a fake piece of fruit. First, here's a special tip. Make sure you're first cut with a sharp paring knife. Paring knife. Right. At the stem. This is a shorter knife like the one you might use. <laughs> a shorter knife like the one you might use to peel and cut fruits and vegetables. You can see that this step in the video above. Oh, okay. And cut it off the stem with a sharpened, sharpened chef's knife. And which freaking knives had names. Okay. Next, make your first cut with a sharp paring, paring, paring knife across the side of your squash. Okay. This will make it easier to insert your longer chef's knife all the way through. My god, what? Otherwise, you may find the big knife gets stuck. You don't want to be fighting your squash with a knife. So by starting your cut with the paring knife, paring, I still don't know, so I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. You can just cut the squash easily in half lengthwise with the chefs. First, cut all the way down to the end. Then remove the knife, turn the squash in the other direction, and cut down the other way completely cut your squash in half. <clears throat> Scoop out the inside seeds and strings with a spoon and throw them away. What? Okay. Now brush olive oil generously all over the- Your cooking time will vary depending on the size of the squash. I baked this squash for one hour. Well, this seems like a whole lot more work than I really thought it was going to be, to be honest. But, I've committed, so we're going to do it anyways. Here we go. Alright, I'm back from yoga and the chicken is done. What it looks like right now. Okay, it doesn't look that appealing right now actually. But it's gonna be yummy. It, it smells good. It smells real good. So I'm gonna get out the vegetables and everything from the refrigerator and start to measure. Completely forgot to tell you guys. Um, update on the spaghetti squash. So I think it like wasn't ripe enough or something and literally the knife is stuck in it and I threw it away. Let me show you. I threw it away with the knife in it because I literally 
literally couldn't get the knife out. I just want to go to sleep. But we go finish this up, okay? You could do me the biggest favor ever and make sure you're you are and make sure you are subscribed to my channel I would greatly appreciate it